G'day guys, today we'll be demonstrating how to build a glass block window out of mortar. Now this can be done many ways. Uh, this is going to be a prefabricated one that we're going to be sending out to site for the brickies to brick in. Uh, alternatively, we can send uh, a much larger frame out on site and you can build it to your heart's content. Uh, firstly, we're going to show you how to mix up some mortar and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is our mortar bag. This is all you need. No additives required, just add water. Now we want to make this to a toothpaste consistency using a mixing paddle, uh, which we'll demonstrate very quickly and then we'll go from there. is for when we put the blocks in and water was to, is to happen to enter, it allows the water to run out through the weep holes. All right, so we've got our polystyrene. This only goes to the sides. And we've just, I've just snapped it off so they fit in perfectly into the sides and they just clip in like so. Next bit, we have gotta put our first row of connectors in the base. Now, we have what's called a jam connector being four wide, we only need three to the centre and we'll cut one of these, just one side and they'll go into the corners, so there'll be two of those. I'll demonstrate this cutting one with a hacksaw. Voila. And like I said, two of those, one at each corner and we'll get to laying our first row of blocks. Alright, blocks are ready to go. We're just going to throw the first one in dry into one corner and the next one we will mud. I like to just throw uh, an even amount of mud across the centre of it and then spread it out using your trowel, pushing it to one side and then followed by the connector sliding in and underneath. I'll continue this with the following two and then I'll show you the following course. So, as we're building this, we're nowhere thereabouts. Alright. We're just going to go along and put mortar across the top of all of these. brush them down. Um, some people like to use a straight edge to work too. Um, I tend to do that for the bigger panels, smaller ones you can sort of gauge it. Uh, however I will show you um, how to do the straight edge just quickly. I'll just pop this one in here like so. And what you can do is you can run a tape measure from the top um, it might be easier if I show you from your side and 
as long as you've got an even measurement on both sides, then you've got something to work to. And this is a straight edge. What I like to do is just clamp it to the top of that block there. And then making sure that they're both even, and then it gives you something to work to. They slide over our connector, so you can just spread them out evenly and just hit them down. Alright. Now we're just going to continue putting mud across the top of these blocks and build this up to the top. And then I'll show you how to do the last row. Alright guys, home stretch, last course. Just need some more connectors again. Okay, using your jams just to the side, and then we're going to use a jam across the top. So this is different to the straight. So let's just pick a side. It'll go there. Now look, we're going to use a straight for here. Um, so what we're doing with that is we're, we're basically just getting a straight and cutting it diagonally like that. Two bits. Now we'll just push that down into there. So we're going to put this block in next. So that's going to have the let's just call it the end going into that way, and then keeping this bit free. So it allows us to put our blocks up into the head and slide it across. Now just mud the top of the this last row that we just did. In, dry, like that, sit it into place. Same again on the other. Okay. Mud this one. Two bits we cut off earlier, just like that for the, for the bottom corners, we'll reuse those. Now, the trick is just get it on the tip, the mud on the tip of your uh, trowel, and we're going diagonally. We're trying to try and get that to stick. Um, so we're going across the block, so allowing me to put the last block in with the mud run in the opposite direction. I'll show you what I mean. Alright. Just to this side. So I'm just doing one side now. Pressing quite firmly because I really want that mud to stick and not slide off the block. It may do but just add to it. Also grab a trowel of mud. We're going to 
Firstly, you can do it from one side, of course. So tuck that head up on an angle, sliding the block across. Now, whilst I've got my fingers underneath it, hold it up, and you can put that mud, that mud just underneath it. Probably not getting a good view, however, you're probably getting the gist of what I'm trying to do. Using those two spaces, just going to tuck them in and then just wiggle this block down until it sits where you want it to go. All right guys, we've got it up. Um, now we're gonna point it up. All right guys, when jointing up, put a pair of gloves on. Um, protect your hands. Now, we're gonna use the mud that we were doing. We're gonna push it in with our hands. Uh, we're gonna use a bit of conduit, which is our jointer. Gives us a nice smooth surface to work with. A sponge and a bucket of water. Let's put that in now. All right, so grab a handful of mud. Starting from the bottom, we're just rubbing over the joint, pushing it into all the gaps. Straight, just doing one side because it's basically you're just repeating the exact same process of what we're doing on this side. Mud's in the joints, let's get our conduit or our jointer. Just smoothing it off. Rub in any bits that need another going over and hit off any dags using the flat part of your hand. Alright, you can run the jointer over one more time. Can, on hot days this will set a lot faster, but on cold days you might have to leave it a while before jointing it. Um, now I'm just wiping using the flat smooth part of a sponge. I'm just going to go over the face, I'm not digging into the joints, I'm just going, just, just brushing over the face of the blocks. of the surface off. Okay, now we can brush into the joints. Squeeze out your sponge, always try and keep it clean. Now to do that, we just work the joint. Like that, and you'll see it, you'll see it slowly smooth out. If you're not happy with some of the spots, by all means, Throw some more in, joint it up, and smooth it out. Off the 
top. Bring out your sponge. Now squeeze out as much water as you can. Should have mentioned that earlier, but uh, as we go down, using the flat, just roll down, not digging into the joint, and we're just cleaning that off. That one's done. Now I like to do it in rows. So let's call this the second row. Thanks for watching.